The Northern Echo has had many distinguished editors. W.T. Stead, who drowned on the Titanic. Harold Evans used his time to right wrongs and social injustices before moving to the Sunday Times. Now, though, say hello to the latest characters to edit the paper. Oh, hello. Barry? Not look. It's Barry and Paul, the Chuckle Brothers, practitioners of slapstick, often involving a ladder, and always a catchphrase. To me, to you, to you, to me. And again, to me, to you, to you, to me. I'll be editor in chief today. (laughs) So why entrust the great daily of the North to them, even for just one day? Well, just a bit of fun, really. Uh, It's Christmas. It was our Christmas Eve edition. And I thought, well, if you you can't have a bit of fun at Christmas Eve, when can you have a bit of fun? They're in the local panto. Uh, They were available. (laughs) And uh, so we just thought it would be a nice thing to, to get them to come over. Catherine Goodfellow says, how do, you, how do shepherds give presents at Christmas? To me. To you. To um, you. E- to you. E- yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> to me, to you. That's I like that. One. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. So what sort of a paper can we expect? It's going to turn out a, an excellent one. It'll be uh, yeah, probably it's... white with black print. A yeah, few coloured so. photographs. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's going to be very nice, isn't that it? That sounds good, that. It's very pretty. We're here for good now. We're not going, are we? No. We're going to stay and do it every day. And we want big money, don't we? Do you? I've heard about it. Right. It's very poorly paid, actually. <laughs> yes, so is it? It's poorly paid. Yes. Dear, oh dear. Get well, a transfer. Going, going back yeah. to Panto. Yes. When the Bishop of Durham guest edited the Echo earlier this year, sales went up. So will the chuckles pull off the same trick? And what will reader reaction be? This? Oh dear, oh dear. Or even this? <laughs> Why not fork out 65 pence tomorrow and judge for yourself? Ian Reeve, BBC Look North, Darlington.